lot oh, of people think Tucker's that he, the man, dude. Uh, he was killed. He knew a lot on a lot of people. He was killed. <laughs> that's the face right there. There's the face. He was killed. Dude, that's that's his dumb... Like, Trump, are, like, what? You're not really telling me you believe that there's even a, a small possibility. That face right there in the front of an yes. ex-president is why I love, I love this that. dude. Way to go, dude. I think, think so? I think the, more, the closer you... Look, I'm not a conspiracy person at all. I believe everything I hear. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can do it. This is about control. Everybody knows. Everyone complies. Where the kinds of pros? I don't need a plane. I just hit the road. I do what I want. I can't sell my soul. Market about the crash. This is what you chose. Ruining the country. I've been best to go. You gonna take the mark? I take never rolls. I'm a man of God. I can never fold. Welcome to Protect Your Purpose Podcast, where we talk whiskey, business, friends, family, and freedom, and reactions. And I'm your politics host. and politics. Yeah, and and Trump. Let's go. And Tucker on X. And Tucker on X. Anyway, I'm your host, Matt Marchese, and this is my beautiful and lovely wife, and today, co-host, sole co-host, uh, replacing the, the the late, great, just the great, Zach Grady. Um, and today, we're going to react to this uh, Tucker Trump interview deal, right? Mm-hmm. Because okay. Trump is not... At the Republican debate that is going on right now. now. That is currently going on. And we are a a little late to the gun on this. But this dude has already achieved 75 million views in the first hour of this thing. So our reaction is officially one hour behind. But we did. I did see a notification. Congrats to them. 75 million views. So we know for a fact. Nobody's watching the Republican debate. There isn't anyone <laughs> left to watch Fox News. So, uh, yeah, congrats as, Fox News on firing the person that's yeah. now beating you in ratings on Twitter. No, that is X. now beating the sh- out of you on X or Twitter. I like to just call it Twitter. Am I going to be okay just calling it Twitter? I keep calling it Twitter. Like, it, nobody's going to come call around. It X. Nobody's going to, the Twitter police aren't going to come and beat me with their X stick, are they? Speaking of, I saw like a little, um, the half X, if you take the the X logo and you bring a mirror image next to it, it looks like the Masonic. Um, yeah, I saw that too. Anyway, check out, if you're into conspiracies, check out that symbolism. Anyway, Ian, let's get this thing started. Tell yourself to roll that video. And real quick, if you enjoy this, please don't oh, forget shit. to help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free, and it greatly helps out the channel. He is yes. not lying. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thanks for always remembering. You are such I got a, you, boo. You're such a pro at this, bro. Uh, also, if you see me mid-reaction, there's a studio fly. There is a studio fly, and it will not leave us alone. Right. And I have refused to commit to an hour long or however long this is reaction with that fly, so if I have to stop and... Hey, it's entertainment at its finest. <laughs> that's right. That's what you, you get here on the Protect Your Purpose podcast. That's right. Although we officially have no sponsors, uh, I am pimping <laughs> the Bug Assault Gun. It is a uh, essentially a cap gun with salt cartridges, and uh, it uses CO2 and will shoot We're the- We're locked, cock, and ready to roll. Shoot yep. the shit out of a studio fly, so- Hopefully you get to see that in action. But in the meantime, Ian, tell yourself again to roll that video. Roll that video. Go. Are we ready? Let's go. Ready. Here we go. Play. It's debate night, but we're not in Milwaukee. <laughs> not at Fox News. <laughs> you see that, that's what a star. That's his new logo, by Why the way. Why with the Fox News debate? Tucker on X. Oh, nice. Well, you know, a lot of people have been asking me that. And many people said you shouldn't do them. But you see the polls have come out. And oh, I'm is. leading by 50 and 60 points. And, you know, some of them are at one and zero and uh, two. And I'm saying, do I sit there for an hour or two hours, whatever it's going to be, and uh, get harassed by people that shouldn't even be running for president? So he's basically saying, that? I'm way above uh, this. This is a network that yeah. isn't particularly friendly to me. And Trump also for context, they, uh, they Tucker is not 100% a like Trump crazy. fan. He's, he's going to get the truth. So yeah, press close. pause. Rewind yeah. that real quick. Tucker is not a tr- uh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Tucker is... Uh, He's unbiased on this interview. Here's, he will ask the tough questions. Here's what I think happened on a lot of this. I think Tucker wasn't going to support DeSantis all in because of his wavering support for Trump. And Fox basically said, if you're not, you know, if you're not going to 
support our Go guy. Go with our narrative. Yeah. If you're not pushing our guy, then you're not pushing a guy, Any guy. on this network. And um, I think this is why this is a big kick in the dong Dude, this is such to, a big kick to the them. Dong. So kind of a flex on not only uh, Trump's part, but a massive flex on Tucker. Yeah. Dude, Trump, he's a pimp. Trump to say, I'm the only one polling over 50. The rest of you are splitting that measly little 40%. Either which way. <clears throat> I'm too good for this. And Tucker says, well, good news. We've got something in common. I'm also too good for this. Let's go five minutes prior. And that's what they did, like five minutes prior to airing it. Five minutes before the Republican debate started. Yep. Anyway. All right. Press play. Let's watch this shit I tonight. In Milwaukee. Brilliant. Well, you know, a lot of people have been asking me that. And many people said you shouldn't do them. But you see the polls have come out. And I'm leading by 50 and 60 points. And, you know, some of them are at one and zero and uh, two Cool. And I'm saying, do I sit there for an hour or two hours, whatever it's going to be? Oh, you started it all the way back. Get harassed by Jump people that shouldn't even be running for president. Should I be doing that? Uh, and a network that isn't particularly friendly to me, frankly. You know, they uh, they were back in Ron DeSanctimonious like crazy, and now they've given up on him. I mean, he's it's a lost cause. Ron DeSanctimonious. You think they've given? I hate that name. It's so 2016. You know, in 2016, I went through the same stuff. And had to fight them all the way. And then they became very friendly after I won, or just about when I was winning. But I just felt it would be hmm. uh, more appropriate not to do the debate. I don't think it's uh, right to do it. Uh, if you're leading by 50, 60, I have one problem leading by 70 points. And I'm Jeez. saying, why am I doing it? And I'm going to have eight people, 10 people, whoever made the debate. I don't know how many it is. But I'm going to have all these people screaming at me, shouting questions at me. Right. All of which I love answering, I love doing, but it doesn't make sense to do them. So uh, I've taken a pass, as it's, you probably noticed. Well, I, I, did, I did. Um, it's interesting, though, because you spent a lot of your career in television. Yeah. Careful with that whiskey. Um, you were a top show in television on NBC. Um, but you don't feel the need now running for president to do television, obviously. Do you think television... We know enough about defined? Donald Trump. And well, what, he's, what his positions are. That I, guess I just really saw, want to hear about the vaccine. out where it's down like 30, 35 percent. But I think they were talking referring to cable. I think cable's down because it's lost credibility. MSNBC, mm. or as they say, MSDNC, is so bad. It's so... <laughs> he's got all these puns, dude. It's a bag of say. puns. It's, you know, it's fake news, as Shit I said. Talker. I think I came up with that term. I hope he's I did great at it. it's a good one. It's not tough enough anymore. It's corrupt news. You know, really what you do is call it corrupt news, but somehow that doesn't play as nicely. But uh, it is corrupt news. So you have uh, MS, yeah, it's corrupt NBC, news. and you have CNN, who's absolutely doing no ratings at all. I mean, they're dead. But they're doing none because they don't have credibility. They really don't have credibility. Fox is way down, as you know. And uh, the good old Did you know days, that, Tucker? Uh, way down. <laughs> if Did you know, know that, Tucker? Long ago, I will say this. Uh, it could come back, but they have they just don't have a lot of credibility. Tucker, you know that perhaps better than anybody. <laughs> I think it was a terrible move getting rid of you. You were number one on television, and all of a sudden you're, we're doing this interview, but we'll get bigger ratings using this crazy forum that you're using. 75 million in first probably, hour. Uh, probably the debate or competition. You think? When you, when you say there are people on stage who shouldn't be running for president, who do you mean? Well, I don't want to really use names, but it wouldn't <laughs> matter too much. A guy like, uh, I call him Ada Hutchinson. It's Asa, but I call him Ada. Uh, I don't want to use names, but I, I'm going to anyways. I tell you, but I don't want to get myself in a little trouble. <laughs> but he's weak and <laughs> pathetic, and he was, uh, I never understood the guy. I never knew him. He was the governor of Arkansas. I did not a very popular guy. I don't know how he, but that state is such a great state. The people are so incredible yes. in that state. And they love me and I love them. How does this guy get elected governor of Arkansas? But he's I nasty always I I and uh, has been. Oh, God. Uh, a guy it's like, like a Chris comedy Christie, show. Actually. A guy left with a 8%, think of it, 8% approval rating in New Jersey. Now he's running for president. And he runs solely on the basis, oh, let's get Trump. Let's, he's like a savage uh, uh, maniac. He's like a lunatic. And that's all he talks about. His poll numbers are very, <laughs> He's a lunatic. Low, about 2%. What's he like? You know him well. well I've, had, I've been friendly with him over the years, but I couldn't give him a, a job because I just never trusted him very much. Who? Uh, I was just oh, never... this guy. The Arkansas. One of his people oh. that really trusted him. I never gave him the job. And that's one of the reasons he feels so hurt and so betrayed. And I understand that. I really do. I understand it. But I never gave him. You know, he wanted to be different things. He was looking at different... Uh, elements of the administration and we decided uh, i decided just i didn't want to i didn't want to do it 
And now I'm glad I did, because you see, but, you know, we had some, some great people. I had great people. We'll have even better people if we do this, because now I know Washington before I didn't know Washington. But guys like Bill Barr were terrible. I mean, they were... It's a good point he Bushies. brings up. First time he didn't know about. Uh, I say that with respect. He wasn't a, to the a, Bush family, a politician. Bushies and, uh, <laughs> I mean, it, just, it doesn't work out. That's a pass. If uh, if you want to give him a pass on that, I, I think if you know, I, I could, I can make an argument for when I elect the president of the United States. I don't want it to be a a, a can practice run, uh, but. Yeah, I mean, sure. You live and learn. You get better as you go. Uh, presidents uh, certainly have a better opportunity to be better on a second term than they do first. They also don't have to worry about getting reelected, so they're just going to do their promises. Her. Yeah, you don't have to. Right. I mean, it's a, um, it's a, it's a deal. I mean, every president, their first term, yeah. really, the first year is the only real yeah. year you're going to get them actually being a president. Then the last three years, yeah. they're trying to get reelected. I think he 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 has a tendency to to shade things or shape things in the form of like a uh, an excuse for his shortfalls like oh th-, and that's the politician in him yep. those are scripts you know yep. just say that you're just didn't get a chance to finish the job like that's how you do it um so it you know kind of annoys me but if you're looking at it at very face value I mean it's true he'll be yep. better the first term he learn more he's going to know you know when, I think the first time he ran, he was the drain the swamp, drain the swamp, drain the swamp. And then he found out how deep that swamp was right. and <laughs> how they will pivot and, and shift the power on him. that swamp has. Yep. Again, disclaimer on all things I say about Trump. This is assuming he's a he's an actual good guy and not some sort of controlled opposition or, or you know, the, the yin to the yang or the good cop to us here. Uh, uh, right. Radical right wingers. Deplorables. You're so radical. Uh, right. So, um, yeah, I think there's some some meat there. Go ahead and press play. Sorry, buddy. Out for us. It was clear. This is kind of far afield, but it was just interesting. I read Barr's account of his time. He wrote a book about it. Right. Uh, Of course he did. His autobiography. And in it, he lies about Jeffrey Epstein's death. Clearly lies. Uh, I wonder what he says. Do you you think Epstein killed himself sincerely? I don't know. I I will say that he was a fixture in Palm Beach. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what Barr said about it either. I have no idea what he said. What did he say? He killed himself, probably? He said he killed himself and that they were going to do this investigation. They never did the investigation. It's never been public. And they hid it. And, like, why are they doing that? He did not kill himself. This is why I love Tucker, bro. Press pause. But why doesn't Trump just say... Because he's playing the game. Right. Which is what What pisses... He did... I thought he did kill himself. Bro. You know he didn't kill. Everyone knows that. This is what pisses me off, dude. You know good and damn well. The the 2016 Trump would have said Epstein didn't kill himself. Instead. He didn't Epstein himself? Right. He, get out of here. He knows the answer. But this is also why I love Tucker, bro. He's just, Tucker is as real as they come, dude. It doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat. Tucker wants the truth. That's the journalism in him. And he also want, wants what is best for this country. I hope these are good guys, man. I, I hope Tucker's I hope so a good too, man. dude, right? I think I'm a believer, dude. I'm a, I, I, it's hard to not be. And they, if they're if they're not, this is the most crazy psychological warfare right. operation imaginable. We're in the Matrix. If, if having, yeah. Yeah. Tucker is just. But also, massive but, congrats to Tucker, though, for getting let go slash fired and he has this like this I is I feel like he was prepared for that. We're going to get my buddy Shane on here and explain. I'm certain he does not believe Tucker is not a made man, made man. So, I'm going to get my buddy Shane on here and we're going to ask him about it. He'll you tell think us. He the, doesn't think he is. I don't think Shane believes for a second that Tucker's a good guy. Oh, okay. So, but we're going to we're going to find out. Press play. R be covering up the death of Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, Bill Barr didn't do an investigation on the election fraud either, okay? He said he did and he <laughs> pretended he did, but he didn't uh, uh, McSwain, the U.S. attorney in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, uh, said Barr, Barr just wouldn't let him do it. It was crazy. Barr became so petrified, so frightened of being impeached. They we're going to impeach him. I don't know if you remember it. Yeah. It's not a big moment in history. <laughs> they said, we're it's not going a to big impeach. moment. You know, they play a much rougher game than the left, the lunatics. And they were going to impeach Bill Barr, and he was petrified. Now, how do you not get impeached? Don't do any of this stuff. But he didn't do the job there. Uh, I don't know what he did with Epstein, but possibly he did. Do didn't you think do it's that. possible that Epstein was killed? Oh, because... sure, it's possible. I, I mean, there I you don't go, Trump. Really believe, I think he probably uh, committed suicide. He had a 
life with you know beautiful I homes. I take back that beautiful compliment. everything, and he uh, all of a sudden he's incarcerated. Tucker, and get him, Carcer, Car- well. Tucker. I would say that he did, but there are those people. There are many people. I think you're one of them, right? But a lot of people think that he uh, he was killed. He knew a lot on a lot of people. He was killed. <laughs> I didn't think oh. it. I love that. I didn't think it. I know it. Oh, I love this. So do I. Uh, but yeah, the, the can you press pause? It. I'm gonna rewind it. Can you rewind it like a just a second. second? That face on him looks at. He was killed. Like stop it. I, I wish he would have been a little more on this. Like we're gonna watch it again, but a little more. Like, stop it, are, Trump. You, stop, are you kidding me? Like, you know right. he didn't Epstein himself. We just got seven. We're about to get 75 million eyeballs. Well, More, 160 probably million now, yeah. eyeballs. Uh, 150 million eyeballs on this. Some of them have three eyes. 150 million eyeballs on this. You better tell the truth, bitch, and you're not. Go ahead. But there are those people. There are many. People. You're one of them. You're one of them, right? But a lot oh, of people think Tucker's that he, the man, dude. Uh, he was killed. He knew a lot on a lot of people. He was killed. <laughs> that's the face right there. There's the face. He was killed, dude. That's that's his dumb. F- like Trump, or what? Like, you're not really telling me you believe that there's even a, a small possibility. That face right there in the front of an yes. ex president is why I love, I love this that. dude. Way to go, dude. I you think. So? I think the more the closer you look, I'm not a conspiracy person at all. I believe everything I hear, uh, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can do it. I mean, the Attorney General of the United States, your Attorney General, clearly lied about. The oh, Epstein. He's going after death. him. Yeah, he was. Why? He was uh, certainly. It wasn't well done. They had no cameras. They had no anything. Everybody was sleeping, and you know, there the a case could How be convenient. made. Look, I'm not going to get involved. <laughs> a in case it. could you, be a made. A case could be made either way. But oh, uh, I love that Tucker laughs in his most face. Most well-run place. So, so the reason I'm asking you is I'm looking at the trajectory since 2015 oh, so when you good. got into politics. Yeah. You know, for real, and then one. Uh, there, it started with protests against you, massive protests, right. organized protests by the left, and then it moved to impeachment twice, right. and now indictment. I mean, the next stage is is violence. Is, are you worried that they're going to try and kill you? Why wouldn't they try and kill you, honestly? Jesus, uh, They're Yikes. savage animals. They are people that are sick, really sick. You have great people in the Democrats. He asked party. RFK you that, great too. people that are Democrats. Most yeah. of the people in our country are fantastic, and I'm representing everybody. I'm not just Republicans or conservatives. Right. I represent everybody. I'm the president of everybody. But I've seen what they do. I've seen the little humble they brag. To. When the they make up the Russia, Russia, I'm Russia, the people's Russia, president. It's exposed, and they go down, and Barr should have gone after them, and other people should have gone after And they did very late because the Durham report came out. It was fairly good. It could have been a lot tougher, I guess, but it was fairly good. But it explained how corrupt it was. Uh, I'll tell you who did a great job was the Inspector General Horowitz. He did a phenomenal report. You didn't have to go to do it. He did it on Comey and on, I guess, McCabe and some others. And it was a vicious, it was basically a true report, how bad they are. But these people are sick people. These are people that uh, I think they hate our country. You want to know the truth. When you see uh, open borders, when you see these policies that they have, and so many other things. You can it's say so that, but not see. that Epstein you know, didn't have a kill country himself. that's very right. fragile right now. I've never seen, I, I will say, look, uh, I ran in 16, which was 15, but I ran in 16, election in 16, and there was tremendous spirit. Uh, in 20, there was even more spirit. We got many millions of, we got millions and millions more millions votes. You know, millions. it wasn't even a contest. People said, <laughs> well, what do you think of 20? I said, we did much better. We did. You got to base it on the number of votes. We got many more votes in 20 than we did in 16. He's, it amazes me how but sharp he still really, is at his age, election. man. But 78? With how old COVID, is he? They used I don't COVID think to cheat so. a lot of different I'll things. And we have so much on it. It's like so easy. But we had judges that didn't want to look. We had people didn't want to get involved. It was safe. 77. They you, you, he's a That's conspiracy sharp, theorist if you say anything about the election. But a lot sharper than sleepy Joe Biden. A spirit like there is Ooh. right now. Even coming down here, just uh, the people on the road that are just absolutely going crazy. And the reason is, yeah, I think they like me and I, I know they love my policies. I hope they like me too. You know, a lot of people say me they too. don't like me, but <laughs> he's so I think weird. They like me. But. I have never seen spirit like it is right now. And the reason is because crooked Joe Biden is so bad. He's the worst president in the history of our country. Amen. 
I don't think he's going to make it to the gate, but you know, you never no know. No way. But he's a corrupt person, so corrupt that I took the name off Hillary. You know, I don't do two people at one time. I took the crooked Hillary and I made it. I retired the name. <laughs> that was a good day for her. I that was a good day. Happy. I stopped going and after her. It it's like a comedy job. hour with Joe this guy. He is. But you don't think he's going to make it. You got to admit, you kind of missed this. Well, yeah. I think he's worse you know, mentally than he is physically. Chris and physically, he's, he's not worse mentally. Ex- the people that hate him. I love it so much. So I originally started. I thought he was the biggest sack of douche ever, and he just yeah. You originally me. did not like him at no. all. 2015. I hated him, and and I hated this whole persona. And then I got to appreciating how much he pissed off. Just his natural demeanor, yes. the way he says stuff. It was a naturally trolling demeanor where he was trolling the left and driving them crazy. Literally, just being himself. And it let me grow this sort of appreciation for his um, lack of douche awareness, maybe, you know, for for, for our term. Good job there. Yeah. Uh, Just his low level of input that he puts into these troll. And he just doesn't give any fucks. Uh, But you know what? Honestly, I think just with how sharp he is, I think he knows how douchey he is. I don't know. And I don't think he cares. And I think he uses it to his advantage. The world may never know. We probably won't. I don't know, but. It's awesome. Go ahead and press play, sir. Exactly. Uh, a triathlete or any kind of an athlete, you look at him, he can't walk to the helicopter. He, he walks. He can't lift his feet out of the grass. You know, it's only two inches at the White House. Right? <laughs> I look that. But he's you watch him. And the like height of the grass. The he's so crazy. So, and then you see him in the beach where he can't lift a chair. You know, those chairs are meant to be light, right? Uh-huh. They're like, <laughs> Two ounces. I lift him up. <laughs> two two he ounces. He can't lift a chair. He can't. It's a comedy walk to hour. The chair. And I, I don't know what they're doing with the beach. You know, this beach is seeming to play a big role, but they love pictures of like, him on the beach. Come on, Prez. On the beach. He looks terrible on the beach. Skinny legs. Well, he can't walk through the sand. <laughs> you know, sand is not that easy to walk through, but when he walks through And Tucker looks at him straight face. Skinny and there's legs. somebody in there that thinks he he's looks got a great poker face. He's so good. He should play poker. I'm sure Plus, he does. The beach doesn't amazing. represent what a president's supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be working. You're supposed to be getting us out of that horrible, horrible war that we're very much involved in with Russia and Ukraine. You could do that. You could do that very easily. I believe you could do that very I don't believe he could do it because he's just incompetent. But that's a war that Can't even walk through should two end grass. immediately. Not because of one side or the other, because hundreds of thousands of people are being killed. Can you imagine you're in an apartment house and rockets are going into that building and blowing it up Jesus. and knocking it down? And who who can why why should anything why should anybody human beings is a human whether they're Russian or Ukrainian or whatever they are, it's got to be stopped and it can be stopped very easily. It would have never started if I were president, it would have never started. So back to Biden, I'm interested. So you think he's failing? He obviously is failing. I think it's clear to everybody. But uh, that would make Kamala Harris the candidate. You'd be well, surprised, really. I mean, I guess they'd have uh, CNN maybe a says a lot of people his say she economy has numbers are amazing. Bidenomics is great. Bidenomics, the Bidenomics they got to. it. We're so we're also lucky. That's true, actually. I don't think that other people would stand for it. Uh, she has some bad moments. Her moments are almost as bad as his. I think his are worse, actually. Yeah, but <laughs> she seems pretty senile too. She speaks in, uh, in she rhyme. She seems pretty she senile, too. This might be one of the funniest things oh, I've watched this so year, good. man. This is amazing. Rhyme? Is that what he said? Rhyme? What what he, he said? Well, the way she talks, the bus will go here, and then the bus will go there, because <laughs> that's what buses do. <laughs> it's weird. The whole thing is weird. This is not a president of the United States. <laughs> the thing is weird. And, uh, I think was like that was that like a cat in the hat book or something? Other people go. He's saying that's how Kamala talks. No, she, I know. she I speaks in rhyme. I always got along well with him, believe it or not. But could be him, could be somebody else. He's got a big, a big load on his shoulders because you look at California, what's happened. But I don't know if the American people really, the people that vote for him, I don't even know if they care. You know, you look at so many of the things that are going on and. People don't seem to be... In the old days, if you had a bad record, it meant a lot. Today, if you have a bad record, it doesn't really mean anything. You know, he looks good. He's a nice-looking guy, speaks well. But Biden, every time you watch him talking, it's like he's walking on eggs. You're waiting for him to collapse. That's true. Literally. He almost always does. Almost always. (laughs) Always waiting. You know, the leaders of all of the countries, essentially, but the big ones, 
And the bigger, the tougher, the leader. You know, it's like sort yeah. of, I guess maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. But I got to know President Xi of China and Putin and Kim Jong-un, North Korea. Did a great job with North Korea. Kept us out of a nuclear war. We would have 40,000 dead soldiers right now. They'd drop a nuke right on top of the military base. But we have 40,000 soldiers over there. And I did great. I got along with him great. It was a good, that's a positive. You know, the press said, he said nice things about Kim Jong-un. I also said horrible things at the beginning. Horrible enough that he wanted to talk. And we talked and we met in Singapore. We met actually twice. And we had... Uh, oh, yeah. Remember, remember he walked over that him. line? We were in great yep. shape with him. What's that line called? Does uh, anyone know? The, what do you think he and Xi and Putin think of Biden? I think they can't believe it. I think they probably say this is some kind of a system. You know, they had great respect for our country. They respected me. They had great respect for our country. When I was there, this is some kind of a Every system. What were you going to say, Trump? Uh, if you go to, if you go to North Korea, you take a look at what happened. You know, the Olympics was dead. South Korea spent billions on the Olympics. Nobody was going to go. They didn't want to get blown up. They called me and they said, "We are going to let the Olympics proceed." This is North Korea. I said, "You should go into the Olympics. Put your athletes in." It wasn't like you know they were big on athletes because you know. Famine. Yeah, because, you know, because of famine, famine. famine and all that, you know, Within they don't have nutrition for it. Food. Days, the entire thing was because sold out. And if it wasn't me, that would have never happened. But I got along very well with him, and that's a positive thing. He, he does have massive nuclear power, by the way. And if Hillary would have gotten in or if the Obama thought process continued, it would have been a nuclear war absolutely with North Korea. He was He was expecting to go into a war, and an, it would have been a nuclear war. Wow. Well, so do you think the rest of the world looks on at Biden and thinks someone else has got to be running the government? Well, somebody else has to be. Uh, I don't think he's capable of doing no. anything. Look, when I debated him, I said, how come, and this was in front of probably not a friend of yours, Chris Wallace. He was the moderator. Not a friend. I said, why? <laughs> not a friend. No, nope. you're right. But he doesn't have the talent. It's one of those bitchy little, little man. He wants Just he's a bitchy father, little man. Did you hear Tucker? He's a bitchy little man. His father interviewed him for 60 minutes. It was actually a 10. Tucker's having fun. No, I totally like His father had talent. He's a fussy little man. a good 60 minutes. He was rough. Really? His father was tough. He was great, though. He was great at what he did. But Chris Wallace was so upset. He was guarding this guy who wouldn't do a show, a by the way. You know, he wouldn't do I figured I didn't mind Chris Wallace because uh, he wouldn't do, Biden wouldn't do a show. And it was very obvious. You know, he kept asking him and asking, but he wouldn't do the show. So I figured he's got to like me. But he came from a different planet. But remember when I asked the question, <laughs> why is it that the mayor of Moscow's wife is allowed to give you three and a half million dollars don't forget, that was brought up now. It's brought up all the time. But that was brought up by me long before anyone ever heard of it. I said, the mayor of Moscow's wife giving you three and a half million dollars. What did you do to deserve three and a half million dollars to Biden? And Chris Wallace said, this doesn't, uh, this has nothing to do with the debate. <laughs> I mean, he fought. He got in the way of the question. No, he, well, it was, it was crazy. And I said, well, wait a minute. He got three and a half million from the mayor of Moscow's wife. Now, people forget that, but if you go back and take a look, you will see. And Chris Wallace didn't want me to ask that question. I said, I think it's a very appropriate question. It turned out to be much more appropriate than people thought. Amazing. Um, so do, do you have a preference in, assuming you're the Republican nominee and all goes as you plan it to go, do you have a preference in who you run against? Uh, in many ways, I'd love to run against him because his record's so bad. You know, it's still... Horrible when you look at inflation and everything else, but others also have very bad records. I mean, California is a bad record, so you know, should it be Gavin or should it be somebody else? When I look at San Francisco, what's happened to that incredible city? That was one of the greatest cities in the world just a short while ago, and now it's very yeah, sad when you look at it. Los Angeles, every city practically, uh, all the Democrat run cities, you get it? You know, Republican run cities are doing Good job. Nice he gone. But now I got because fly guts all over my water, so. And they don't go after political candidates because they think it's good. You know, I mean, it's like. It literally looked like you were shooting, shooting, shooting the camera, too. So it's, it's enter going to be entertaining. Because people understand it. Well, you know, so we, so they, can, can I just ask you, that gets back to my original blood. question. So if the protest don't, didn't work, you got elected anyway. Continue. Impeachment didn't work twice, obviously. Um, indictment is not working. 
your poll numbers go up. When they raided Mar-a-Lago in August yeah. of last year, your numbers went up. Um, How about that? 20 times, and it's not going to, you're not going to lose the Republican takes this primary. Guy down. Well, so, it like, makes it look even more ridiculous. I mean, the four indictments, and maybe there'll be more. I don't know. These people are crazy. But they're counterproductive. So if you chart it out, it's an escalation, yeah. is what I'm saying. Yeah. So what's next? After, you know, try to put you in prison for the rest of your life, that's not working. Gonna kill so, you. like, don't they have to kill you now? I th- I think the people of our country... Ooh, you got a little swallow don't there. Don't enough credit for how smart they are. And I, I'm not sure I would have said this 10 years ago, but they get it, you know? They yeah. really get it. When somebody gets indicted, your poll numbers go down. When somebody gets indicted, you announce, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be leaving to spend time with my family and to fight for the rest of my life on this stuff. But you're out of politics. I got indicted four times. Oh, bro, thank you. Gotcha. All trivia, nonsense. Bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's horrible when you look and, and you look at what they're doing. Uh, the boxes hoax. I'm covered by the Presidential Records Act. I'm allowed to do exactly that. He's not covered and he's got 25 times the number of boxes. And he's got them stored in Chinatown. He's got them stored in a flimsy garage underneath his Corvette. Uh, underneath his Corvette. And by the way, at Penn, he gets millions of dollars. China pays this guy millions of dollars. See, I think he's the most corrupt president we've ever had. And he also has the distinction of being the most incompetent. And I believe both. I mean, he's both incompetent and corrupt. I agree with that. So the, I, the most actually, corrupt and the most incompetent president we've ever yep. had. Yep. Okay. And I proudly say that as a former Army, United States Army soldier. Uh, because I couldn't say that for a long time. But our commander in chief is without a doubt, the most incompetent president we've ever it had. It makes us look very weak. and it, it, very. Yeah. And, you know, the, the people like me uh, believe it's it's by design. Like, the design was to make us look weak on a world stage uh, so they can take over our country. Um, and that's and it, why he says sentences that doesn't make sense. Yeah. He's always falling. He goes on yeah. the beach and, like Trump said, looks yep. like a death. Well, Trump said at the beginning of this interview, uh, the people that are actually running the company or country, uh, he believes they actually hate us. So if they hated us and they wanted us to look weak. So if Trump's synopsis or analysis on that is correct, if they hated, the people actually running the company hated us, would they want us to look tough or weak? Weak. 100% weak. If they wanted us to make us look weak, what would they do? They would, number one, parade the the hollowest brain you can possibly parade with any chance of winning, with any track record, which would have been Hillary. Um, but she couldn't. So... He was their their guy with intention of making us look weak on a world did, stage to 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 lose control. Did you see that? So they cheated their way to putting this guy in office. 100% did not get 80 million votes for this guy. And they cheated their way into getting him into office, whether you call it mail-in ballots or fraud, whatever it is, they cheated. They changed the rules of an election with an emergency power to get this hollow brain in office. And he is without a doubt at this point, the worst, most incompetent and corrupt president in United States history. Crazy. Agreed. But I can't really agree. Yeah, you shouldn't agree. All right. Go ahead and press play. I believe he's compromised because China Definitely knows so much about him. They know where the money comes from. They know where it is, who paid it. And they, and they can rat him out in two it. seconds. Well, they do pay Penn and he gets a, you know, a million dollars. I think it takes nine hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars because you know keeps it a little bit under a million, like by a dollar. But <laughs> he, in many ways, is a Manchurian candidate. We have a Manchurian candidate, and he's afraid to tell Russia to get out of Cuba. He's wow. afraid to tell China to get out of Cuba. He's afraid. China now is building. Think of this. China is building military installations in Cuba. Wow. The Cuban population of Miami is not too happy because they're never going to be able to go back. And you don't even hear about it. And the worst culprit is the press, the media, because uh, normally, you know, when I first heard that, I, that China's building installations in Cuba, and installations means military installations, okay. You know, they said just some communication. They did that on the islands with Japan. They took the island, they started this massive construction. And they told everybody, including the Japanese, the Japanese have to be very careful. They told everybody that this is a housing development. They're going to build a housing development. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, how come the runway is 20,000 feet long? You know, <laughs> private jets need 4,000 feet. They don't need 20,000 feet. 
The big ones need 20,000 feet. They don't even need 20. And I looked at the runway, I said, that's the largest runway ever built, both in width and length, for housing development. There's nobody that has a plane that big <laughs> that uh, that you would have a runway that that's uh, that's why that's is China testing. allowed to conduct imperialism in our hemisphere? Well, yeah, and it's far beyond Cuba. It's all over South America. Yeah, and the Caribbean. So we built a thing called the Panama Canal. We lost 35,000 people to the mosquito, you know, malaria. Yeah. We lost 35,000 people building. We lost 35,000 people because 35, of the mosquito. 000. Vicious. They had to build under nets. It was one of the true great wonders of the world. As he said, one of the nine wonders of the world. No, no, it was one of the seven. It was, happened a little while ago, you know. There's nine wonders of the world. You could make nine wonders. He would have been better off if he stuck with the nine and just said, yeah, I think it's nine. But this is one of the true <laughs> seven wonders of the world. And you take a look at the Panama Canal. It was such, such an incredible engineering marvel. We sold it under Jimmy Carter. We sold it to Panama for one dollar. The following day, they quadrupled the amount of money that ships had to pay to get across. They didn't lose one ship. And now they've made it much bigger. And now they've widened it. They've doubled it, right? They've more than doubled it. And it's one of the most profitable things any time. It, it's, it's just incredible, right? We gave it away for one dollar. I've been there. It's a pretty China bad now controls lock system. It. They actually control the Panama Canal. They run it. They control it. And we shouldn't let that happen. And we can't let China be in Cuba. And they'll get out. If I'm president, they'll get out. Because I had a very good relationship with President Xi, but he respected this country. He respected me. He's sharp. He remembers and names. And he'll get out. He's sharp. And he we just, can't yeah, let he's them sharp, run the period. Panama Canal. We built the Panama Canal. Should have never been given to Panama. We should have had it. But we gave it for one dollar. Think of it. They quadrupled in one day. They lifted the fees, which are, you know. We should take it back over. Big for these massive for a ships dollar. to go through. For a dollar. Right? Rather than going around the Cape and all Double the Double their money, give them two. Such say, $2. beauty. $2. Such, you know, when you say it's beautiful stuff. But you didn't want to get caught in those storms. Those were storms that wiped out the biggest ships. And we go through the Panama Canal. We built it. And we gave it away for one dollar. Think it's of like that. It's like the 17th time he said we that. We have done the stupidest He's a repeating ass repeater. He's a repeating ass repeater. Uh, and he now, takes credit for everything, too. Repeat the repeater. Can't put two sentences together. Can't speak. Can't walk. Can't talk. I don't think he <laughs> gets to the trick. starting gate, but these can't people speak, do miracles. I mean, he, he ran out of his basement. And you got away with that one because of COVID. So he sort of got away with it. They cheated on the election. 100%. But you have people that are very smart, but they're fascists and they're radical left lunatics and they're destroying our country with the all electric cars and the windmills all over the place, which, by the way, don't work. And they're all most of them made in China. For the most part, they're made in China, Germany, mm -hmm. a little bit, but China. But you look at what's happening to our country, even no voter ID. I mean, why don't they want voter ID? There's only one reason they don't want voter ID, because they want to cheat. I mean, this, who doesn't want, you know, the Democrat convention, the last one? They had voter ID that was this big. It looked like a prison card, this big on their chest. You walked in, they had your picture, your this, your fingerprint. They had everything. The most incredible voter ID I've ever seen. <laughs> that was to get into the Democrat National Convention. But to get into vote, if you buy groceries, if you buy any, practically anything now, you have ID on a card, credit cards or otherwise. And but that, don't you think it's racist? <laughs> Well, they probably yes, say that. They, they use anything. They'll not probably to show ID. say that. Come on, Trump, get with it now. You know good and damn and well they're saying we that. Could he's, he's we could go back and we should go back to all paper ballots, voter ID, same day voting. You know, France did it. France had uh, mail in ballots and it was terrible. Anytime you have mail in ballots, you're going to have massive cheating on your elections. Anytime, but not just the presidential election. Anytime you have. Isn't it. that the whole point of them? Yeah. So oh, cheat. yeah, sure. So, yeah. That's, yeah, that's the whole point, point of mail ballots, so you yeah. can cheat. Isn't that the because only the point? Because so bad that if they didn't cheat, they couldn't get elected. Who wants open borders? Who wants high taxes? Who wants high interest rates? Who wants to not be able to use a gas stove? Or have to drive an electric car, which, you know, you have a four-hour drive, but the car only goes an hour and a half, so you right. have to charge it. <laughs> Amen. The happiest moment for somebody in an electric Let's car Let's go backwards is the first in time. Minutes. I wish. In other words, you get it charged, and now for 10 minutes. The unhappiest part is the next hour, because you're petrified that you're not going to be fine to another charger. People, 
I, I'm saying if people, right. I'm not knocking I, electric. From an electric yes, car fine. owner. They're fine. But if people want to buy a gasoline car or a hybrid, hybrids are pretty good, actually. But they should be allowed to buy. They don't want to do any of this. So right now, California's in a big brownout because their grid is a disaster. The grid all over the country is sort of a disaster, but the grid in California. And yet, they California. want to have it in a very short period of time. Millions and millions of cars millions going off that grid, millions essentially. Millions and millions. millions. Uh, Two. It doesn't work. So plug your car into a grid that's fair. You should be able millions. to buy an millions electric car. Millions. You know, electric cars could be fine if you drive short distances and you want to have, you know, whatever, and you fine. have plug-ins everywhere you go. They could be fine. But you've got to have gasoline cars. You've got to have everything. Let people buy everything. Now there's the new thing is your uh, heating systems in the house. They don't want you to have a modern-day heating system. They want you to use a heating system that will cost you at least $10,000 to buy and won't work very well. You know, none of this stuff works as well. One of the things I did with EPA is uh, you have states, many, many states, most of the states have so much water. You know, it comes out of heaven, right? The water pours down and you have it. It's there. It's got a... The water comes out of heaven. goes into the oceans, whatever. Yes, everyone knows that. It's yes, not like President a big Trump problem. Comes out of now, heaven. in some states, they have a problem. You know, you have some desert areas and all, and for that, it's okay. But they have uh, Maybe it does come out of heaven, because maybe we're under a dome, no water and out. the firmament, and on, heaven no is on the other out. side of it, and maybe God delivers from the No water comes the water out of the shower. Us. No water is allowed to go into the washing machine for your dishes or for your clothing. or what. And I avoided all of that. Wait, they have... Sinks where no water comes sure, out? Sure, you have restrictors. When I say no water, very little water, you want to wash your hands, right? Yeah. And you t you've seen this. And you turn on the sink and it's very little. Uh, or uh, right, you want to uh, wash your hands. Uh, right? It's very little. You're standing under a shower. Then the suds never go. The water comes out very slowly. I'm sure you've seen this. It usually takes place in new hotels and new homes. Yeah, you take a drill and take the they have limiter a out. Well, you can, but now they make it so you can do that. So easily. they have a restriction. And he always says yeah. it with yeah. a straight yeah. face, yeah. man. I don't know. You don't take out the limiter? Out I bring a drill so to the I hotel. Dry all of humor. that. And you have to see these. They, they let the water come out. You know what people do? They wash their hands like five times longer. Or in the washing machine, they'll press for their... Let's say the uh, dishwasher, they'll press it. Then they'll press it about seven or eight times. Yeah. They'll end up using more water, and it still won't be very good. I met with the head of Whirlpool. They were practically going out of business during my administration, and they said to me from Ohio, incredible, great state. I love Ohio. And they were really doing badly. Incredible. People would he loves every state. state. I, love I, love great great I love Ohio. They're great people. They love me. They love Ohio. They love me and I and love them. explaining it's uh, just a terrible situation. I said, let me ask you, how's the quality? He says, we're better, but they are good enough quality. But, you know, of course he's going to say that. But, you know, they are better. <laughs> but, said, you but know. They don't, they don't allow us. They're dumping these machines. They're cutting us in half. They're killing us. And... On top of it, the government won't, us, won't let us use water in our machines. I mean, he shows me like a quarter of a bottle of water. That's supposed to be washing clothing. And I freed it all up, and I put tariffs on these countries that were selling and the machines coming into the country. And that company went from a, a big, the big, all the washing machine companies, they make washing machines, they make dryers, they make all of the different machines that do this kind of work, including dishwashers. And they went from a disaster area to being just thriving. But they, can I ask They why, love me in that part of Ohio. Well, I, I bet they do, but why should they love EPA, me. no one at EPA we knew he was going to say it. anybody, yeah. why do they have the power Whirlpool people love to them. decide how much water your washing machine uses? Shouldn't Congress in a democracy get to vote on that? Yeah, you could say that. Uh, they do things uh, that are not uh, very... So how do you... That's my question. How do you... If you get elected again, go back to Washington... How do you keep the agencies under control? How do you keep FBI and CIA specifically yeah. under mm. control? The way you do it, like I fired Comey, that was a big deal. You know, a lot of people said, and I fired him very yeah, early. Somebody did. said, oh, I wish you would have fired him. There was a real question about firing him anyway. You understand, because, you know, when they have a 10-year term, there is a question. Uh, I fired Comey. That was a great thing. If I didn't fire Comey, maybe I wouldn't be talking to you, or I'd be talking to you about real estate or something else other than politics, Right. Uh, that was a coup, in my opinion. That was a very sick deal. That was the insurance policy. You remember the insurance policy? Oh, she's going to win, darling. She's going to win. But uh, just in case she doesn't, I don't know what he's insurance talking about. Policy. An insurance policy was what they I were don't doing. I don't remember. He lost me. And we caught I don't them know either. With that. That was a very important tweet or whatever it was, text. 
it was a big deal. I think it was that the was FBI. It was. Okay, hold on. Press pause. Fella. It was the two FBI agents that were texting back and forth um, about we can't let him win. And then they, he, they I think they had a text between them remember. calling you Comey an insurance yeah, yeah. policy. Yeah. Don't like, quote me on that, but I think that was it. Something along those lines. Something yeah. along those lines. Anyway, press play. Let's see. She's going to win. One hundred million to one. Yeah, how do you That's keep up with all odds. the hoax? At least they gave me one. You know. right? One hundred million to one. Yeah, they wanted but Hillary in office. That's what it is. She doesn't win. We have an insurance policy. And Comey said, was the insurance strange. policy in the. That's strange. That's right. But we caught all that because I fired Comey. Because when I fired Comey, it was like throwing a rock into a hornet's nest, into a nest of bees, and the place went crazy. <laughs> so, do, when you were president, do you are you confident that you knew everything that the CIA That's was crazy. doing around? No, the world. I'm not. I'm not. It's. Uh, it's a very interesting group of people. I had very good relationships, I thought, but I was a little surprised. They uh, love me. When I got out, uh, that, you know, things go on. Look, it's... Uh, what were you surprised by? Uh, I, I was surprised, I think, at some of the people. I was surprised that there was... Uh, I had a group of people. Look, we killed many, using the CIA, I have to say this, bad, very bad actors. We were very good at it. Uh, you look at... Soleimani, you look at Al Baghdadi, oh. bigger than Osama bin Laden. Okay, I, mean, okay, I was so I'm like, dude, are you just saying the CIA was off in people, what's, bro? What's he about to say, bro? Yeah, right. He's right. about to put his foot in his mouth. Holy okay, shit. he's talking about Al, Al Qaeda and I stuff he like was that. Talking about he's talking about terrorists. yeah, I thought he was talking about stuff behind closed doors and you well, know. You thought he was talking about the shit that we always talk e about Epstein. on the show. <laughs> I thought he was talking about <laughs> Epstein, Epstein shit, people. Right. We, I'm like, uh, bro, you ain't gonna make it to yeah. the to the the election, bros. Talking like that, we the CIA, we suicided a bunch of people while I was in Jesus. office. Jesus, <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> Some have been a lot in it, but Al Baghdadi, Al Baghdadi did ISIS, and he was rebuilding ISIS very strongly. And that was the CIA that did them. that. Uh, that was really us that did that. Yeah. that was really us that did that. And Soleimani was us that did that. Not so much CIA, but. We did some very good work with the CIA, but I started, you know, when I looked at the 51 intelligence agents uh, saying that that was the laptop from hell was Russia disinformation, when I took a look at that, I said, that's a horrible thing. They knew it wasn't. They knew it was. They knew uh, good and damn well and it wasn't, way, and they let it go. Mm -hmm. uh, McLaughlin and Fabrizio, great pollsters. If they said a thing like that plus other things meant anywhere they from were 10 trying to, to incite people. They were trying to incite that riot. Of the vote, which changed. They what were trying happened to, to Mike Pence? They were trying to spike You've January Always been 6 nice to Pence. I've never heard you criticize Pence. You've defended him in public many, many I'm times. I'm very curious He's out about there this question. You. Yeah, me too. Um, what is that? So Mike wants to run for president. You got to understand. In my opinion, Mike Pence had the absolute right to send the votes back to the legislatures. Uh, the Democrats and everybody said, you don't have the right. In other words, what I said, is he a human conveyor belt? You mean, if he finds fraud in Pennsylvania, in Georgia, in any of these states, Arizona, he has to send them to Mitch McConnell, right? That's right, sir. Well, if he finds fraud, he has to? Yes, sir. I said, so he's just, so he's a conveyor belt. Boom, put him in. I said, I don't agree with that. And we had some lawyers, not all. We had some lawyers that said, no, you do have the right to send them back to the legislatures to be rechecked. Because if you looked at what went on in Wisconsin, who, by the way, now agree with me, Wisconsin has been virtually, other than the fact they're not allowed to do anything statutorily, but Wisconsin has been, I mean, what they found is incredible. I mean, we won Wisconsin. But Mike Pence had the right, in my opinion, to send them back. Do you ever talk to him now? Uh, no, I haven't spoken to him in a long time. Uh, I was very disappointed in him. I didn't want to do he what Thomas love Jefferson me. did. Yeah. Thomas Jefferson, it was Georgia. And it was, hear ye, hear ye, the great state of Georgia is not capable or allowed to tabulate their votes. And Thomas Jefferson, who was the vice president, said, is Georgia sure that they cannot tabulate their votes? Georgia is sure. What a show. What? He didn't send them I didn't know about that. Can I didn't either. Do it? I didn't either. He said, the we he will talks. keep the votes of the great state of Georgia for Thomas Jefferson. and his He president. is sharp, man. It's I impressive. That. Could have done that, too, but I didn't. I thought that would be turmoil. I asked him to send him back to his legislature. 
to the legislatures, you know, in Wisconsin, let's say. But, but why didn't he? I mean, you, you'd you worked together for four years. You're the president. He's VP. You're, you say you're aligned on everything. I think he got very bad advice. I, I really do. Now, let me tell you what happened. Yeah. I sat there with a few people. I think his lawyer was in the room, too. His lawyer was very much against it. There were other lawyers that felt you could do it. It was, it was one of those things. You probably, I think you could have done it. I think you can always do something if you see fraud or if you see problems. But it's very interesting. So after the election was over, the rhinos got together with the Democrats and they redid the election. So you couldn't do it anymore. So then I called the people. I said, so in other words, you're saying I was right. You could do it. Yes, you could do it. In other words, they took the voting act and they redid it. So the vice yeah. president no I longer knew this. has the power which, to which do is, what I said he could right. do. So if the press pause. So if the vice president no longer has the power, he once had the power, which means. I mean, when you're looking at it from that perspective, he is right. I heard this, that they changed the law and I said the exact same thing. So wait a second. They changed the law. They Why changed it did from they what? Change the right. law. right. If they changed it to he can't anymore, what did it say before? Exactly. So you can just change it. And why would they change that law? That's why the question. He, if there was a question, why wouldn't they change it to the vice if the vice president does see fraud, then he absolutely can. Why the fuck wouldn't we, as one nation under God, a United States of America? Why wouldn't we want them to say if our vice president, sitting vice president, sees fraud on the election, he should absolutely completely pause it, sound the alarm and well, send it back? Well, we're built on checks and balances. So that is that balance. Right. That check and balance is him being able to send it back. So why, why would why would they take that away? Right. And this is the shit that makes me go. Our lawmakers are little secret, sneaky little snakes. And they do the shit in the middle of the night, in the dark while we sleep. And then they slide it under the rug. They bury it in a stack of fucking on law. On a bill that has nothing to do with it right. on like the 2000th and 32nd page. Right. When nobody has time to read it, nobody has time to review it. You wake up, all of a sudden, poof, it's done. Law changed. And then by the time people find out, it's like, where did well, that come from? Wait, when did that change? Yeah, hold on a second. So was there or was there not fraud? I thought we were passing a bill to not shut down the government. Yeah. Could he could he or could he not do that at the time when when they're accusing a bunch of people for rioting and an insurrection that didn't even really wasn't really I hope the they case. talk about that by the way. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they will, but looks like we're running out of time. Yeah, Go ahead and press play. Okay. So when that happened, I said, Wow. So and you know, You'd look some of these Democrats in the eye and they'd say, he has absolutely no right to do it. And immediately after the election, they met rhinos, could name them all, and Democrats. And they could approved name them all, but I legislation won't. that takes away the right of the vice president to do it. So I said, ah, so you're saying I was right. The vice president did have the right to do it. And they said, yes, he did. So if you're saying they stole it from you last time, why wouldn't they do the same this time? Oh, well, they'll try. They're going to be trying, yeah. But, and not, not only me, you know. Look. Uh, oh, they're going to try. DeSantis is out. I think he's gonzo. He was, he was at a level. He's, people have figured him out. You think that's true? Gone. But if somebody I, I, I don't even gone. know if he's going to even essentially run anymore. Yeah. yeah. He's so Good. far behind now. Good. Just he dug his own grave. They did me. These Chris people Paz, Did he do and something specific, do we know? To dig his own I grave? think he just pissed off a lot of people, and uh, I know he did some interview where he kind of he backpedaled in regards to like big uh, Republican things. Like he, so I know big thing is is he won't say that, or he is now saying that Trump lost the election, so he stopped saying that the Democrats and Biden He's stole it. All right, go ahead. Yep. So he just yep. not being a Republican. He anymore. pissed off the Trump base. <laughs> Which, yeah. Essentially, this is Trump's party, people. Trump this is obvious. That's why he's on this interview he's yielding, gonna... I don't know, 50 times whatever the, the yeah. Republican debate. Sorry, Fox bring. News. Do you think yeah. he'll be the Republican candidate? I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Yeah, it's his party. But yes, the runs. Republican. I think everyone knows he's unless if something happens, he's probably going to win. The Republicans don't want to be they don't want Trump to run independent and then have an independent split president and split the party and give 
Democrats a better odds at winning, but they also don't want Trump, if he wins, to not be a Republican. I don't know how it would work. I mean, there's speculation. We could speculate. We we can we could guess on some things, and history would say that an independent would never win. I think if uh, an independent could win, it's this guy. Oh, hundred because he and I think he, he would, is his own party. If he called himself an independent, I think he'd probably pull some Democrat uh, votes. I think he'd pull both. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't lose any I, I of think, his base. I think he'd have a. Ch- I mean, I what, would he be wouldn't his... lose any of the Republican Party. Best case scenario is he'd pull some. I feel like that should. And I even think a lot of is Republicans. There a chance of that happening. I suppose. I also think a lot of. I think almost all the Republicans would vote for him because so many people want yeah, Biden out saying. at any cost. Yeah, Nobody's wanna... going to. So even if Trump's running as an independent, they know they he is their best odd to have at least someone somewhat Republican like. I want our to economy run. back. Any. Yeah, I want our economy back. What do you mean? Back, Bidenomics dude. isn't pleasing you. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't I know if we'll get that back. Was, but Yeah, I don't know either. That was during COVID, too, where. Yeah. Two percent interest rates were. The old glory days, back when we didn't have to worry about financing and purchasing power and inflation. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's uh, it's going to be a, a rocky road, but I, I think if anyone could, I don't think you'll lose any of the Republican. I mean, anyone with a with a with a brain in, inside of their head is going to be like any other vote for whatever Republican candidate is running against him is a non vote. Yep. Like. I think they're going to, at that point, it could be like, we got two Republican candidates running for president I'm, versus one. I'm so curious to see Fox News' numbers for the Republican debate oh, compared dude. to, let's say, yeah. let's, I, I want to see Those the 24 hour. Too. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they'll probably skew. They're it. all skewed. But I want to see Whatever. the 24 hour numbers for this that we're reacting to right now and compare it to the Republican debate. Dude. And I, it's going to be fucking insane. 75 million views during one hour. Yes, during. yes, during during the debate. That's crazy. During or the so, debate. it started five minutes prior, but yes, during Whatever. the debate. All right, play that's that's thing. thug like right there. Five that minutes is. prior, they should drop that little the I glasses with the cigarette. Right. You know? Yes, you know what yes. I'm talking about. A lot of people say they won't. This is in Milwaukee. Home. Boom. I do get credit for drop that mic. Quite well, I must tell you, I think it's. Uh, How do you do that? How do you get indicted? You know, every week and stay <laughs> true. It's. Uh, I think it, it's a lot easier because I'm, I'm so high in the polls because it means the people get it. The people see it's a fraud. The people see it. They like sure this do. horrible district attorney from just a little while ago from essentially Atlanta. They're also trying to say he can't down. run now. They're trying to pass that he she, can't run while he's indicted. Basically, I don't have of course, any rights. They won't get that passed, but they're going to try. Well, what about... Stacey Abrams, what about Hillary Clinton? What about all of these Democrats that are still challenging my election? The same people that are saying he's challenging an election challenged my election. And they did it with slates. They did it with all sorts of things. They were very bad, very bad about it. But basically, they're suing me and they're saying, you don't have any right to challenge it. If you challenge an election, we're going to indict you and put you in jail. So what they're doing is they're really, they've weaponized and, and don't kid yourself, the DOJ and Biden and the whole group, they're watching all of this stuff. They love the local stuff. You know, the DA in Manhattan. Not only that, they put a, one of the DOJ top people into the Manhattan DA's office to run things. They don't even have a case against me. It's not even a case. Everyone says, even the Democrats say, you can't bring these cases. You have no case. The attorney general or the uh, district attorney... Fanny, Fanny Willis, in Atlanta. She's getting killed. Hmm. Basically, she's saying Trump doesn't have the right to, uh, to criticize an election. But you've been around long enough now. You've seen many elections criticized. I mean, Hillary Clinton goes crazy every They've time been she talks. They've been criticizing elections since the, president, the beginning of elections. Carter, so every president. election's been criticized. And well, we want every election to be Clinton criticized. Me, by the yeah, way, like, in the morning scrutinized, to criticized, me looked at, the, taken seriously. Election. Did her voice crack? Well, her voice was <laughs> very different, I will say. I won't get into that. But What do you mean? <laughs> her voice was very different. Uh, don't forget, they were all celebrating at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And I came home and I said, you know, I think we won. I felt we won because the rallies are so big. You know, we'd, have, we'd go to Wisconsin and we'd go to uh, Georgia. We'd go to different states. Uh, they love Georgia. Georgia. We'd have they rallies. Love I love in Georgia. Pennsylvania, we had 58,000 people in Butler. And I said, you know, how are we losing this? How do you have a rally where you have from 50 to 100,000 people, many of them? You know, I did seven 
a day for a couple of days. That's a lot. That's they a love lot. me. It's a big rallies too. And I didn't hold back. I didn't say, let's make them little, let's do abbreviations, right? Let's do big ones. But, um, but they challenged the stuff. Yeah. Hillary called, called me up and conceded. Now, the word is that Obama said you have to do that. But she called up and totally conceded. But now, you know, every time you see her on television, she's saying, like, well, she's challenging the election. Do, do you think so that would mean that she should be indicted? But that would mean also that Stacey Abrams in Georgia should be indicted because she still thinks she won the yeah, election. They, do they all challenge everything. It's part of the recanted. game. Man. Such right. bullshit. And I do you think, think Stacey Abrams will be indicted for that? No, of course not. She won't be. The <laughs> Democrats don't get indicted for things like that. They don't get impeached. No, it's, it's a different thing. Is With that being impeached. said, yes. I had great so support true. when they did impeachment hoax number one and impeachment hoax number two. Uh, Jim Jordan, the House was fantastic. And actually, the Senate was very good for me. Other than, you know, Mitch McConnell, I think if he had... It's too bad I endorsed him. He was begging. He was going to lose that race, and I endorsed him, and he ended up winning the race. He was begging. He loved me. He, he loved me. He was lose. begging. Amy McGrath, she was $90 million in cash, all set to go. She was leading by three. He was going down. I did him a favor, and then three, four months later, he we should do a drinking game. Impeach me. Yeah, Every time, time Trump guy. says million, million, we drink. Uh, if you look at, or I don't know if we'd be able to finish. No, and if he says millions so and billions and millions and billions, if he does that, you thing, have to chug. We gotta, you got to chug your drink. Yeah, normal life, I will say. With that being said, I've had great loyalty also, but uh, the House was fantastic. The Senate was very good. Can, you know, they overrode Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell in my opinion, was trying to get senators to impeach me, especially for the second one. And on the first one, he acted very, very slow. He should have gone much faster. But Mitch McConnell wanted to, and the senators went up to him. Guys that are subservient to him because he gives money. You know, he gives them money. He gives them a lot of money. He raises some money and he gives it to How them. How much money, Trump? The a million. That's the only millions form of leadership he's got. So last question. If last you're question. elected president again... What's your top, your number one priority? Ooh, okay. And last time Here you said, I will build a wall. This time okay, so I want to mark this. So we're 42 minutes into 46 of this interview, and we're finally talking about... Don't wrong. I'm glad we're covering old shit. Everyone wants to see Tucker ask him these t tough questions. But I think if Trump's not doing the debate, he needs to be talking about what he's going to do. He I kind of wish we would have... He will. He's got four minutes of it. I bet God, there's another one, though. I don't know. I think that's probably the point is he's saying, I, I want to talk about, uh, they, I think their goal was to talk about the crooked nature of what is currently happening yeah. instead of joining, you know, in contrast to the debate where a bunch of people are going to sit there and talk about what they're going to do and what they're going to do. This guy's got a proven track record. Yep. This guy owns the fucking party. He's basically a, an extra big time, you know, an extra humble brag, an extra flex on we're going to do an interview and we're just going to talk about how corrupt all this bullshit is while they're all fighting for second place. <laughs> we'll talk about what's really going on. And that I is can see that, yeah, yeah. Epstein didn't kill himself. Joe Biden's a crook. Hillary Clinton's incompetent. Kamala Harris speaks in rhymes like. <laughs> And, and and the people that are actually running this company, which is not Joe Biden, are country, not country. This this country, sorry, it's a company too, it the is corporation. A it is. Um, don't get me started. But the people who are actually running this company, country, um, hate us. And I think the most these people are going to go, oh, I can't wait to watch the debate. And I probably won't. But I'm sure they're talking a bunch of bullshit. I'm sure they're talking, oh, we need to send Mike Pence is probably saying we're going to send more tanks to Ukraine. And they're all stroking each other's junk over there talking about the wrong thing. Meanwhile, they're talking about the reason why this has 75 million votes in an hour and they're going to have seven point hundred five thousand votes in an hour <laughs> is because. Nobody's going to want to actually listen to what they're talking about because everybody actually thinks this. Yeah. And they're all, they think we don't. They think we don't know. They think that the majority of the people still believe that we ought to be sending another $5 billion or another $11 billion to Ukraine. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, our middle class uh, new families cannot buy a house and meanwhile, in America. Half of Hawaii is gone. Half of Hawaii is gone. Inflation. Uh, look, we can we could go on. Oh, Bidenomics is not great.
But anyway, <laughs> but I, I appreciate what you're saying. I'm, I'm excited to hear this conversation. I would have rather not my take on it. And I can, while I can appreciate yours, I would have rather just heard him. I just wish it would have been like, say, 50, show. which, yeah, it's definitely a comedy. Yeah. I just wish it would have been like 50 50 because I am curious to hear. Because it, it, here's the reason why I say that because mm -hmm. we have a massive fucking hole to dig ourselves out of. And I am curious and want to know what is his plan to get us out of Bidenomics and fix this, make this country great again. Sure. So I, I wish, again, I love where this has been and fucking Tucker. Every Tucker's time I watch this dude, I he fall more and more in love with him. Single time. Can Tucker just run? Can that be a I thing? Know. We need Tucker to run. I thought he was at one Tucker point. 2028? No. He Can committed just... to 100% not going to run. Yeah, he oh, said really? he's never going to run. Yeah. Never? Uh, I don't know, never. I think he might have said. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> um, out of curiosity, what would you rather have heard before I give another two cents? heard on this yeah the last 45 um, minutes or 40 minutes or whatever i would like to know more like what ian said i would like to know more of his plan a little bit more he hasn't talked at all about what he's yeah. gonna do and how he's gonna get us out of the mess because we're in a fucking mess so let me ask you this mess if you're his campaign manager and he has one jesus christ and if you're his lawyers and he has lots and if you are strategizing a victory for president it's gotta be and you're leading in the polls with astronomical margin go would you say anything without being saying, pressed don't give away your fucking which is really why he's not in this debate cuz he's saying I'm not going to ask, and I'm not going to do an hour long solo debate well, he also with Tucker Carlson and get my ass handed to me and run the risk of a slip up when I don't need to. Because why would I? I am destroying everyone else. And if he was there at the debate, it just would have been a massive trash. It wouldn't oh, have yeah, been any debate. Oh, they been all would have shit on him That's right. and attack him. It w That's there would have right. been no debate. And it, yeah, I think it would have been tacky. I think for. The benefit of everyone, it was best to not have him literally, yes, at that because let these other ass clowns bury fight themselves and fight for second and debate. They're yeah. debating, they That's wouldn't have right. debated if he was there. Maybe we should react to that debate just to see how laughable and Still jokeable laugh. it is. I will laugh at I that, I'm sure we'll do. Watch it. it, would you? All right, let's react to it. All right, let's finish this thing up. Time Good point, though, Ian. Thank you. I appreciate line, that. Top promise to the so country. you can do numerous things at the same time, of course. But let's say number one is a border and Taking press hundreds pause. of thousands of he's gonna build finish building the wall the fucking wall again yeah come oh, on Trump. come on you can no. do several things no way the first thing he's gonna start with the wall shit again he had four years and he got nothing done which I, I, claims I, he got all that shit done I want to add context just so the viewers all of us agree we need to fix immigration. But that should not have been his fucking Come answer on, right there. bro. You had four years to build that fucking wall, bro. Economy. Inflation. Our school system. Our Jesus children. Christ, our fucking never children, putting man. a fucking mask on our fucking country again. Never, Work. ever, no matter what the conditions are, ever not allowing family members to be with their dying parents and grandparents and relatives. Never, ever again do we fucking force inject a fucking entire global population. A border? The wall again? That's the shit. That makes me go bonkers. Say what's really happening. And he doesn't because he's an actual politician. I can do multiple things at once. Let's hear what. Now, Duty did so good for the viewers that made it a, a full hour into this fucking thing or whatever it's been. Hour and seven for us. They probably saw me laughing with joy the whole time. And then, he, <laughs> oh, you just agree with this everything, is why. don't you? This is why I would have rather just the comedy show because the moment he goes into this, says dumb Floors shit like, <clears throat> listen, we all know we need to secure the border, immigration. You could have just said that, but don't say build that wall. If you run a campaign on build that wall after four years not, not building that wall, us. ugh, and don't call Ron. De DeSantis de sanctimonious anymore. It's fucking stupid. On behalf of all of your potential supporters, stop saying Ron de sancta fucking monious. It's stupid. It's dumb. I do like Sleepy Joe Biden, though. G yeah, rock with Sleepy Joe or Crooked <laughs> Joe or Crooked Hillary. I love it. Ron de sanctimonious is stupid. That would be like me calling you 
dumb old Trump. It's pretty. It's better than desanctimonious. All right, let's finish this because now right. my blood pressure's up and it's late at night and I'm ready to go to bed. We got three minutes. Let's go. All right. Criminals that have been allowed into our country and getting them out and bringing them back to their country. That's all true. Guatemala. But what, there's, By the way, let's go. Not only yes, it is true. It's true. I agree. Neighbors, it's like stating the fucking obvious. All over the world. Last true. month, we had 149 countries. Inflation, Trump. Think of it. We had 149 countries represented, Tucker, from places that many people never even heard of coming into our country. And they're coming in from mental institutions and they're coming in from prisons. They're emptying out their prisons all over South America. They're emptying out their mental institutions. Terrorists are pouring into our country. We have no idea. I had the strongest border in the history of our country. And I True. built almost 500 miles of wall. You know, they like to say, oh, was it less? No. I built 500 miles. In fact, if you check with the authorities on the border, we built almost 500 miles of wall. And I had another 200 that I was going to build. You know, it's like water. It seeks. And we're going to build another 200. We built it. It was all set to go. All they had to do was install it. It would have taken three weeks. And that's when I ground. found out. I said, I think these people actually want open borders. Um, <laughs> the first thing I would do would be uh, I would seal up the border good and tight, except for people that want to come in legally. Do you think we're moving towards civil war? Yes. There's tremendous passion and there's tremendous love. Uh, you know, January 6th was a very interesting day because they don't report it properly. Uh, I believe Tucker it was knows. the largest crowd I've ever spoken before. And you know some of the crowds I've spoken before. And uh, like July 4th on the mall, uh, I think they had a million people there. Uh, but I think that the biggest crowd I've ever spoken before was on January 6th. And people that were in that crowd, a very, very small group of people, and we said, patriotically and peacefully, peacefully and patriotically, right? Nobody ever says that. Go peacefully and patriotically. But people that were in that crowd that day, very small group of people went down there, and then you, there are a lot, of, a lot of scenarios that we can talk about. But people in that crowd said it was the most beautiful day they've ever experienced. There was love in that crowd. There was love and unity. I have never seen such spirit and such passion and such love. And I've also never seen simultaneously and from the same people such hatred of what they've done to our country. Mm. So do you think it's possible that there's open conflict? We seem to be moving I, I towards don't something. Know. I don't know. I don't think so. I All the guns are on one I, side. You know, I, I can say It'd this. be a very short war. Uh, there's a level of passion that I've never seen. There's a level of hatred that I've never seen. And that's probably a bad combination. Donald Trump, thank you. Thank you very much. Very much. Thank you. That is a bad combination, by the way. Bad combination. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Bro, Tucker. Weird way to end it. All right. I, I, Tucker. We won't. We, we, you know, we've been at this thing Tucker. for an hour or so. Uh, Tucker is the man. Uh, Donald Trump missed a great opportunity. Yes, he did. I agree with oh. you. He missed a great opportunity to stand on what his real accomplishment was, which was the most dynamic economy in our lifetime, perhaps ever, stock market, businesses, grow, individual growth, people's bank accounts were fat, their 401ks were looking nice, retirements were looking nice, and we are on the verge of a financial collapse where they're threatening a, a bailout to go to a digital currency replacing the dollar as the global currency and... And this dude is is and and implementing a like I don't want to go too far off the rails here, but a, a social credit score like China, and this dude was running this amazing economy. Meanwhile, we are absolutely fucked, and he chooses to say talk about the wall for for three minutes. Yeah. The last three, yeah, yeah. The like, last fuck, man. Those are the opportunities that I, I think Tucker was probably sitting there going, dude, the wall. I, I bet you Tucker felt exactly how I felt. Certainly not rehearsed. And, and you could see that with Tucker's oh, looks yeah. at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude, right. that look. That was, are you fucking shit me he right now, Mr. President? Himself. Right. He definitely you know he didn't, didn't. Epstein himself. Right. Dude, 
Yeah. He didn't Clinton himself. I, uh, I agree with you, though, Matt, that he missed a big opportunity, a big opportunity. to, A, grow his base as well, right? Because there's yeah. a lot of people, I think, that are going into this election Dude, the whole that fucking, don't know. The whole country's 401k is collapsed. Yes. The whole country's perspective on the wall has not changed, but everyone has felt the, the, the effects of gas prices. Yes. Everyone has felt the, all Republicans and Democrats, middle class, new families can't buy a house right now. Because there is no middle class. Right. That's gone. Right. Right. All of that. He missed a major opportunity there. Um, you know, at the same time, dude, this guy's got unlimited amounts of air, air time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, just, I, I'm annoyed. I could see there being another one of these, honestly, before I guarantee you yeah, I he's so. on here again. Yeah. And I know this is another one I'm excited about is uh, Joe Rogan was talking. He he wouldn't confirm or deny that there has been talks of him coming on. Well, he passed on Trump uh, in yes. all of the last election cycle, and really? but he said yeah. now he'd be open to it. Yeah, because he Joe Rogan either again uh, with the master assumption that Joe Rogan is also not uh, controlled opposition or on a bad guy. Um, if if not, then his eyes have very much opened in the last oh, four yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, he especially is now, after this, seeing these numbers. Right. And he is now, oh, dude, Rogan, for sure, numbers-wise. But, I mean, he's he's willing to have him. I know he didn't want to be too polarizing, um, and he didn't want to be pegged. He as, also didn't want to affect. He I think he said his main reason was he didn't want to be any part of a reason, affect the actual outcome, because he knows his reach. Sure. Rogan could affect the outcome of the election. Ever, uh, so could Tucker. So could oh, yeah. the media. So could like I think that's bullshit. That's a, a PC answer that Rogan gave too. Cop like out. fuck you. You can get it. You are affecting. You endorse Bernie Sanders. You fuck. If you're staying neutral, then you don't get to endorse a presidential candidate. Uh, his goal was to affect the election. I think he's flip flopped and he's just trying to hold strong onto those uh, liberal left wing uh, ultimate fighting championship fans. That he's got in his base also, which are slowly Just dying. Like but maybe you're right from a rating standpoint or, or from a, a views and, and traffic and um, you know financial interest of him and Spotify. He might work a deal with Spotify. It says you give me an extra. I don't know what that traffic is worth. You know, 50 million, 20 million. Yeah, I won't mention yeah. a word. Millions and no, millions he, and millions. He says, you know, I'm going to have Trump on, oh. but I want a bonus. If I do it, I'm going to compromise, you know. Because he, he's got a contract, I'm sure they'd have to, yeah. you yep. know, he'd he'd say, I'll do this, but maybe a little renegotiation, or maybe it's been in the works. Who the hell knows? Anyway, listen, we're going to wrap this thing up, get this thing done. If you made it this long, we certainly appreciate you extra, yeah, right. extra more, uh, even than we did at the beginning of the show. I appreciate your, your time and your love and your energy. Please share the show. If you agree with anything we said or you, you enjoyed what you watched uh, and enjoyed this reaction, please share, uh, like, comment. Let us know in the comment section if um, there's anything else you want to see us react to or uh, even if there's some topics you want us to talk about. We're happy to take suggestions. Because we are a podcast. We do long-form content. So if you enjoyed this, That's make right. sure you tune in to our actual uh, podcast episodes too. That's right. Babe, you got anything else to say on this? Nope, I'm good. That's it? <laughs> Go Trump. Oh, Lindy's a trust. She's always loved Trump. Anyway. All right. Well, thank you again for watching and joining I, us tonight. Oh, she's back oh, in. She's I was back. close. Lindy's and back. she's back. We're back. I just, even, <laughs> even if it's fake or contr whatever it is, I just absolutely love his passion for this country. You better be careful. He'll, he'll grab you by the pussy. Um, <laughs> You're right, though. You can't deny his passion for no, this country. No, and you can feel it yeah. in, in the... I just wish it was all of America. Because I can't feel just... that when Biden's sleeping at the fucking Hawaii, <laughs> right. uh, the 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 losses of the people. He went there to talk to him, and he's a fucking asleep. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, asleep. I saw that. What too. the yeah. fuck, man, bro? This guy's crazy. It's well, I we we just described. Yeah, let's go back to like. I don't want to read minute, this back up. Minute forty five on this podcast. I explained. It's a clown world. Um, actually, Tucker explained. I think Trump explained. The people that actually run this company, a country, actually hate us, and they actually hate this country, and they actually are trying to take it over. I know that's a very hard concept for people to understand, but the reality is, is in all of world history, there has been a war for territory and control. It is no different of a time now. That's why we are still in current wars. 
to think that they aren't using a psychological aspect of war against us to manipulate us in a world of communication, okay, is foolish. They are manipulating us and pretending that they are not trying to take us over. They hate us. They hate our freedom. We stand in the way of their power and their money and their control. That is their motive. Why people that don't get it? Why do they? Why would anyone do this? First, you establish a motive. Why? Because they want more money and they want more power and they want more control. They want more land. They want more natural resources. That is why. Those are the motives, the motives that have promoted war in all of human history. Those are all still present. They want those, so they have to manipulate us to control those, and our Constitution is what stands between them. They hate our Constitution and the people that believe in it, and they hate us because they want to take it, and it's been that way forever, so... Oh, we were. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We were all. Fault. We were done. No, it was my fault. I'm sorry. Damn it! Listen, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Say a little prayer for us. Hopefully, I'm wrong. I'll say a prayer tonight. Okay. Anyway, thank you all for joining us again, Ian. Thank you. You've done a great job as always. I appreciate you staying late to get this reaction out. I appreciate to the peeps. you guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, and uh, thank you all again for the support and the love. And as always, people, find your purpose, serve your purpose, and protect your purpose, people. Peace. One, two, three. One, two, three.